probably one of my favorite experiments. What's your name, please? Alexis. Alexis, have we met before? Yes, actually. Yeah, at the bar about an hour ago. I thought you and your friends were hot, and I said, come down to the show. <laughs> but I mean, did we prepare anything? Yeah. I mean, you had no idea what I was doing tonight. Yeah. Alexis, who are you with here among these three guys? Who's the lucky guy? I didn't, th I didn't think so. So what are you doing later, Alexis? No. Do you know these guys? Yeah. Which one do you know the longest? I think Ryan. Ryan. Alexis, how long have you known her? Yeah. All right. You guys like movies? All right. Imagine, remember the old Universal movies, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, all that? They all start out Universal Pictures, and you see the globe spinning around in the beginning. Nowadays, they show a satellite going around. In the old days, it was like a biplane. See that in your mind. Just visualize that in your mind, the globe spinning around. OK, Ryan, Alexis, see the globe slowing down, slowing down, finally stopping. Now zoom in on it. Zoom in on it until you come to a location somewhere on Earth, a city or some, somewhere, all right? Now focus on the name of that city. Do you each have something in your mind? It doesn't exactly have to be a city. It might be a landmark. I mean, you want to go, you might want to go Empire State Building. But, but something people would recognize, okay? Or you might go Columbia. We need a location. You each have one? Here's what I want you to do. And this is an interesting test, because I don't know who I'm going to get from. I have some index cards here. I'm going to give this to you, Alexis. You're going to gaze at it. Imagine that it is a movie screen. Print the name of the place you're thinking of. I won't touch it again. And when you're done, fold it in quarters and hold on to it, all right? I have a pencil here for you. Don't start until I uh, tell him what to do. And don't peek. Don't peek at what she's doing. I want only her to know. You're going to do the same thing. Here's a card for you. It's important that you fold them both the same way, because afterwards, I don't want to know whose is whose. Okay. They should look the same. Okay. Here's a card for you as well. You. And a pencil. Print your place on the card and then fold it into quarters. Are you guys doing that? Now, this is where, where it gets kind of interesting. Alexis, how are you doing? Good. There's no way anyone here could know that. You know why people say, why didn't you give me a pen? Why didn't you give me a pencil? I'll tell you why. Nowadays, in this electronic age, people think, if I give you a pen, they go, it somehow radiates the information to him. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You have a pen. I'm going to let you keep the pencil. Are you all done? Yes. Ryan, will you hand your card to Alexis? Alexis, put the pencil on the table. The pencil, right? You already did. Good. Put both cards behind your back and mix them up until you don't know which is which. See, we're <laughs> going to do a double blind test here. No one could possibly know, even you guys, what the target is. You see? That's for the skeptics here tonight. You're about to hand me one of those cards. The one you hand me is eliminated, because the moment I touch it, it doesn't count anymore. All right? Do you know which is which? Hand me the one you don't want. Are you sure before I touch it? I'm like going to look up in the air while I do this, so nobody gets any idea that we're messing around. I'm going to torch this, OK? <laughs> now, I might be burning the yours, Ryan. Might be burning yours, Alexis. In fact, I'm burning my fingers. We had to put it in the glass. Don't allowed to use fire in the castle, but I figured if I didn't ask, I'd get away with it. <laughs> Hold it in your fist. Tight. Like that. I'm in the air. There's no way any we could know this location in your hand. Am I right? Yeah. Would everybody here agree to that? Yes. Except the skeptics in the back who insist that you're my cousin. <laughs> But you'll verify we, in fact, haven't met before. This could be your location. OK, I'm getting the impression of the, I'm getting something very flowing. I'm getting columns. I'm getting the image of white. Don't nod your heads or do anything, because I don't know where I'm getting this from. I'm getting columns, something very regal, something very flowing. Hand me the pencil. Please. I'm going to write now. What's your name, please? Charlotte, you look very honest. I'm going to write down what I'm getting. I'll let you hold on to it, all right? I can't even see what I'm writing here. Let's see. I'm going to give this to you. 
I don't know I'm getting the, no, that's not right. Here. No, it's a long word. Let me write this, print it. So you, now, Charlotte, I don't want you to look at this. Hold out your hand like this. Hold it flat on your hand. Put your other hand on top. Okay. Now, that's my impression of what I'm getting. I got the white. I got a lot of buildings. Then later, I got some, like, old-time movie stuff coming into my head, things burning and stuff. like that. That makes any sense. May I have the card you're holding, please? I've already committed myself to writing. Let's see what the target was. Prague. P-R-A-G-U-E. I don't get the flowing thing, but I do get the columns in the old buildings. It's kind of interesting. Nice and loud so everybody can hear Charlotte. What did I write down? Wow. Yeah, you thought this was all bullshit, didn't you? All right, obviously, we must have, who, who, which, of, which of you had Prague? So obviously, whatever you were thinking of in the world is torched and gone forever. So we're going to have to trust you. Because if you lie or something, nobody will know because we burned your paper. Concentrate on that place. This doesn't exist anywhere except in his mind. Focus on it. This is where. Because when the globes. How long have you known each other? The globes almost stopped in the same place, didn't they? He didn't have Prague. No, it's not what I'm getting. I've got something close. I'm getting, I'm getting a sense of Eastern Europe. Here, let me draw in a big pad what I'm getting instead of a little piece of paper. So I'll let this, this side of the audience see what I'm writing. I won't let you see, okay? Don't say out loud, okay? We know this is yours. Look at me. See a place here in this place. Do you, can you see something here? I'm getting spires in a dome. Does that make sense? I'm getting sp tall spires in a dome. Does that make sense to you? So I'll let them see, because later on, somebody, he changed it after he said something. They all know what I wrote. Nice and loud, so everyone can hear, Ryan. What is the name of the place you were just thinking of that doesn't even exist anymore? Moscow. Moscow. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bob Cassidy. Yes. 10.30, first show, one hour. Bob oh, thank Cassidy, you. thank you so much, Bob. Thank you. Terrific, thank you so much, that was terrific.